Hey guys, welcome back to the house. So we have a lot. Okay, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot to go over regarding the Real Housewives of Atlanta. We kind of talked about this a little last night, but y'all, Candy finally released her part two of the speak on it, and she's kind of explaining this deleted BLM scene and responding to Miss Portia, Portia, Portia's Instagram Live, okay? It is a lot to unpack here, and I'm not really going to go into details, but I'm just going to try to summarize it and then give my opinion. And so, of course, you guys know I will link Candy Speak on it in the description box below. However, y'all, it's a lot to go over. So if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and let's get straight into the video. Now, before we get into the mess, you guys know we have to talk about our sponsor, Celestisnest.net. I keep this body butter handy, okay? We got the tobacco flower. We got the green tea and lemon body butter. I got the jasmine body butter in my bathroom, okay? We got the soaps on deck. Y'all, if you're not shopping celestesnest.net, what in the hell is you doing? So go ahead and check the website out in the description box below. And of course, you guys can use my code HOA for 20% off all of your orders for a limited time. Now let's get into the mess. All right, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and tell this story from the beginning, even though we've talked about it many times before, but I just want to give you guys some context. And of course, I'm going to add in some details from Candy Speak on it. And so you guys know that last summer that there was a whole bunch of social unrest and us as black people, we was sick of the shit, all right? And so we were asking our government, these police departments, and these companies to do better. And I think that that's the exact attitude that the ladies of the Real Housewives of Atlanta had. And so the ladies of season 12, which would have included Candy, Kenya, Cynthia, Portia, Tanya, Eva, Nini. Okay, shout out to our fallen soldiers because some of those ladies are not with us anymore. Okay, bless their hearts. But the ladies of season 12 wanted to come together as a collective go to the production company and ask for a donation. Now, when they had came to this conclusion, Candy took it upon herself to take it a step further and go to the network by herself, okay? So the ladies already decided we're gonna hop on a conference call with the production company. And Candy said, okay, while well, y'all do that, right? I'm gonna go ahead and do this by myself and go to the network and ask for equitable opportunities. And so if you don't know, there is a difference between the production company and the network. The production company, which in this case is truly original, they are in charge of the everyday operations of making the show. Then they go and give it to the network, okay? And the network, which is Bravo and NBC Universal and Andy and them air the show. So Candy, said, I want to do bigger, better, and better things. I'm going to the network, okay? Give me a NBC Universal on speed dial. I want equitable opportunities for African Americans. And I think that that is amazing, okay? I think what all of the ladies were trying to do is amazing. I think, you know, truly giving a donation to BLM is awesome. I think Candy trying to get equitable opportunities for black people within the Bravo sphere is even better because that means we would have black executives, black internships, you know, uh, black production companies making these shows. And so I think everybody's efforts is needed. Okay. We need everybody. We need all the ideas. We need all the money. We need all the opportunities. And so I kind of felt like everybody was trying to chime in and do something good. But then, y'all, that's when it turned into a shit show. When Candy went to the network and asked for these things and the network agreed to some of these things, she went back to the group text where they was talking about the donation stuff and said, hey, y'all, I took it upon myself to go to the network. I asked them for this, that, and a third. And they said, yes, right? Y'all, Portia and Tanya wasn't really feeling it because I kind of feel like in Portia and Tanya's head, they kind of was like, okay, we were going to come together and do something, which I can kind of understand that. Like if I come to you with an idea and then you kind of take that idea and try to make it bigger and better and then do it by yourself, 
it is kind of like, okay, like, yes, I understand it's for the greater good. However, we were supposed to be doing something together, sis. Okay. At the same time, I can also understand how Kenya and Candy could feel some type of way as well. Just off the simple fact that, you know, if we're supposed to be doing this for the betterment of the black community, no one should be upset about anything. Because a win for what I asked for is a win for everybody. Okay, so I hope you guys are following along because I'm only going to tell the story one more time. And so... Tanya, Nini, Marlo, and Portia had a whole separate text conversation. And according to Candy in this week on it, y'all, Portia was shading the hell out of uh, Miss Candy Burst Tucker. On a previous speak on it, I believe like a month and a half ago when Kenya Moore Hair Care was on there, we as fans were told that Portia dogged Candy out. In today's time, okay, in Candy's latest speak on it, Candy never says that Portia dogged her out, cussed her out, or really said anything disparaging about her. All Candy admits to is the fact that Portia shaded Candy for going to the network by herself and doing something by herself. Okay? So there is a complete and total difference between dogging somebody out and shading someone. We do know that there was some shade and something that was inappropriate. And I do feel as though it was very irresponsible for Portia to shade Candy on her efforts for going to the network and asking them for whatever, because of course it was going to be perceived as, you know, her putting Candy down and her trying to uplift her own efforts. Now, do you guys remember when Portia the Williams took to Instagram live to dispel the rumor that she dodged Candy out? She printed out the receipts and read us the text messages. Well, now in today's time, child, Candy is saying that Portia did not show us the real real. Okay, she did not show us all of the shady texts. And that very well may be true. Okay, and if it is true, Portia, girl, what is you doing? Like, if you're going to show us some texts, you need to read it from top to bottom and don't leave no details out. Okay, we want everything. Now, do I think Portia said anything wrong per se? No, okay, I don't. However, she should have kept her trap shut because anything she said about the situation was gonna be perceived as shade. And of course it was leaked to the blogs. Candy got wind of the text messages. She ended up confronting Portia at the beginning of season 13 filming when they did a scene at Andretti's, you know, like this arcade place. And, um, you know, according to Candy and her latest speak on it, she says that Portia did not apologize for shading her in the text messages, but all she did was just say, Candy, uh, you were not meant to see those texts. Soon after that conversation with Candy, Kenya came into the mix at Andretti's and started questioning Portia's activism, which I think is extremely uncalled for because it's just like, sis, none of this has nothing to do with you. Okay, you are just looking for an opportunity to calm down Portia's throat about something and it's tired, okay, and it's boring. Like, get over it, stop having a hard one for Portia and go bully on your new victim, Drew, okay? So, Kenya ended up getting into the mix at Andretti's. It became into a huge spectacle And Portia did admit that she went to the network and asked to delete that scene because she kind of felt like, you know, if we're all trying to come together and unite for the BLM cause of it all, why are we sitting up here arguing about it? Why are we going back and forth, going tit for tat about something that's supposed to be positive? I don't know what I'm saying. And so, um, Kenya ain't like that, child. Kenya did not like that. And I believe Candy don't like it either because I think that they think Portia did that because she didn't want to look bad, not because it was making BLM look bad, okay? And so you guys can have y'all's opinion on that. You know, we've hashed this out and we've talked about this a million times before, but the new information, okay, the new piece of information is that Portia did not apologize. She just said, Candy girl, That text was not meant for your eyes, okay? So I don't know, you guys. What do y'all think 
at the end of the day, I'm just tired of it. Okay, I'm exhausted. My uh mouth is getting dry talking about the same damn things. I need a break. Okay, I need a water break because, honey, what the hell is going on? Okay, y'all can see that I don't have my cordless water bottle with me. It's in my car. But my mouth is seriously getting tired and dry talking about the same damn things. Like, how many times is we going to rehash the same situation? Okay. Now, I want to ask you guys the question. What do you guys think about the situation? Um, Do you think Portia was wrong? Okay. Do you think Portia was wrong? Do you think she was overstepping? Do you think that she did what she did or she shaded Candy because she wanted to be the only one that looked like she was a part of the movement? Right? Do you think Portia is self-centered? Let me know. I really want to know. I kind of feel as though, in my humble opinion, it was a misunderstanding. Okay? I feel as though the ladies came together and wanted to do something. And when Candy came back to the group and said, hey, guys, I did this instead, it kind of made everybody just go, okay, like, that wasn't the plan, but I guess we just going to go with it. Right? And Tanya and Portia feeling a ways about it was misinterpreted as, oh, Portia just wants to look like she's the only one that's here for the cause or the only one that's doing something for BLM. Y'all get what I'm saying? So I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. I definitely do know that Kenya exacerbated the situation, okay? And I think she is making it into a bigger thing than what it was. I can tell that ultimately Kenya is candy's mouthpiece okay because i think candy was trying to go off and kind of forget about it and be passive about it but i kind of feel like she uses don juan carmen and kenya as her mouthpiece to kind of just say the things that she's not willing to okay and i i, I just get that vibe from candy y'all know i don't think candy is the realest chick on the block okay i really don't because if we really want to be honest I kind of feel as though Candy wants to be extra talkative and extra combative and she wants to speak on it and really get into the nitty gritty of the situation because she literally had nothing going on this season. And so I'm not going to sit on this platform and say that Portia is a fake activist. I'm not going to sit on this platform and say that Portia was wanting to be the only one doing something for the movement. I'm not going to say that because honestly, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. These women, okay, specifically Portia, Candy, and Phaedra, even Kenya and Nini at some points in times have all come together and have all did things for the black community since the inception of the show. So why would Portia feel some type of way about other people's efforts now, okay? So I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. I know that this was really long and drawn out and I know we, you know, beating a dead horse, but Candy did do a speak on it, y'all. And um, you can just tell that Candy is not really here for Portia and she just won't say that. I wish Candy would just come out and say, I don't like Portia, okay? I feel like she's shady. I feel like she don't like me and therefore I don't like her, right? But I feel like she's tap dancing and tiptoeing around the real issue. But I don't know, y'all. Okay, y'all know I can talk about this stuff for forever. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys a little bit later. Love you. And don't forget to create a great day. Bye, you guys.